Hey, can I get an extra large double double, please? Thank you. All right, this is our 1990 Toyota pickup that we call Little Red. It's creative, right? Little Red. It's red. It's little. It just makes sense. I'm here with that coffee I just bought that's the size of my head. Okay, so I'll give you a quick update. So in 2013, Ashley and I politely asked if we could take this truck off my parents' hands. It was sitting in my dad's backyard, in the weeds, flat tires, cracked windshield, moldy interior, and with every vital engine sensor failed. But had good bones, so that's what I saw. 22RE, five speed, base model, um, sweet graphics, but most importantly, solid frame. And uh, it's windy, so you're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Here, oh my God, blizzard. It only had a little bit of rust on the fenders, so I took that opportunity to put on some fiberglass fenders. And within four weekends, we kind of slapped this thing together. Ryan from Disturbed Industries in Abbotsford built me a long block, so we slapped in a new 22RE and put old manual suspension on it. Redid the interior with some $30 Forerunner seats and carpet from ACC. So grand total of, uh, I think like 180 bucks to uh, redo the interior. Found a used canopy, put a rooftop tent and dual battery system, solar and a, uh, and a fridge and kind of call it a day. I had sliders, so I put them on and uh, put a trail gear rear bumper on it just because the rear bumper is uh, rusty, but at the time we just put a stock front bumper on it and we left to South America. Um, at that time we had a total of eight grand Canadian into it. So maybe, I don't know, 45 bucks US into the truck to go and uh, take it to South America. And it was awesome. If you guys want to catch up on A, how and why we built the truck and B, um, the next two years of us traveling in it, you can just go to our website, dustglory.com and there are about 130 30 blog posts there. Yeah, so you can build plenty of time at the office under readingdestaglory.com. I think uh, you probably got eight or 16 hours worth of reading at least. There's also an expedition portal build thread, which I'll link below. All right, but here we are now. As soon as we got home, we stripped down the truck. Truck makes like 50 horsepower to the wheels with a 22 RE. It was fully loaded with all our gear and it was pretty heavy and not fun to drive around on freeway speeds and so on, or up hills or, you know, around town all the things. So we stripped it down, um, we put 48 gears in it from G2 axle and gear when we got back. And while I was at it, I put long field um, axles in the rear because I busted one of the stock axles. And then also when we got home, put a um, LC engineering header, a four in one header and two and a half inch exhaust. Um, it's got a Flowmaster 60 series right now. So definitely breathes a little bit better and produce a little bit more power. So makes the drive significantly better, but um, yeah, with about a third of the horsepower as a Tundra. We put a ARB front bumper on it and a M8000S Warren winch. So that's just the 8,000 pound Warren winch with, with some uh, synthetic line. We still have the Eagle Alloy Series 100 wheels on it, um, 16 by eights, but uh, just throw on some BF Goodrich KM3s and 285, 75, 16s. And I like them a lot. Um, so now the thing I like about this truck is that it's a blank slate. Ashley and I have been toying with some ideas of some long-term travel. Um, it's still on the down low because nothing's confirmed yet, but throwing together a little bit of a build plan and some sketches based on what we've learned from our previous trip, what we liked and what we didn't like. We can't not take this truck on the next trip. As far as I'm concerned, it's a perfect blend between old and new. Yeah, and to date, every time we've had an issue, it's been a nice quick fix because it seems to be able to find these things or Hiluxes anywhere we go. But yeah, so that's just a quick recap. Um, there we go.